In this last video, we want to discuss uh, reinstallation or finishing up our bridge or putting everything back together. Uh, we'll get new lining. That's the whole purpose of uh, the, uh, the brake job is to, to reline it. Some things to look at here if you are maybe uh, you had it apart to do some type of warranty job and you're going to reuse the lining or you're doing a state inspection, always measure at the thinnest point on the rivet head in 30 seconds of an inch what your dimension is. If the drum were installed and you needed to come up with some kind of measurement, they have these wear indicators, these angles cut on the top of the shoe, that when that angle is gone, if it's worn down past that point, you're getting very close to or a few 30 seconds away from the rivet head. That's an indicator without pulling anything apart that you need to replace the lining. Okay? With that said, let's go ahead and put our lining on. So the uh, step number one, as cam is back in in this uh, particular instance, we want to make sure that we have it adjusted close to where the roller would fit in the pocket. Okay? And we'll put our anchor pins in. If we put new ones in, we will also have the new bushings in there. A little bit of anti-seize on here uh, will prevent them from seizing up later on and uh, making it troublesome to get apart next time. So you put a light coating on that. Slide that in, press them in. And then you take the upper shoe. Now it does not matter for SKM brakes. Upper or lower shoe, exactly the same. Okay? But if it's used and you're putting it back on, try to put the original one back at the same location. Uh, so we'll take our upper shoe and we'll just simply sit it on that anchor pin and let it rest against the SKM head. Take our retaining springs. And we'll place them in the holes in the back here. Okay. Take the lower shoe. And uh, this is open end stuff or open anchor. And we're going to place it over the anchor pin and then get both of our retaining springs in place here. It'll hold itself in place. Then we'll rotate it up into place. And once again, it'll hold itself. This is one of the easiest brake jobs to do. Next, we have our return spring. And I always like to put the spring on the lower pin, just kind of hook it to the center, and in some cases you can catch that uh, pin up here, but just like we had difficulty coming apart, we're going to use this tool to go back together, and we'll place that, you can see how it cradles the spring, and then we press against the SKM head, use it as a lever, and it will hook it right on. Now it's going to be loose because we got to have room to get our rollers in there. Rollers, new ones, it's going to have clips. Make sure you install the clips. If they're used, like these are here, you want to make sure that they lay flat against the sides of the roller. It'll make it easier uh, to install. And when it's in place, it won't be caught under or between the roller and the, uh, the notch in the shoe. So we'll go for the upper one first. We're going to lift and we'll set this roller into place and we're going to snap that clip so the ears come out through these holes. That's what they're designed for. And we want to make sure like this one here is just caught on the edge. There should be no space between the end of the roller and that uh, little notch in the shoe. They are rotating around. Now you probably can't see it but I want to inspect this same thing on the other side. And the last thing, after we install the clip, we'll put the last roller in. With this on the vehicle, it won't move around on you, but for this here, you can either use your hand, or you can put your foot there, put the clip into place, and we're going to rotate that spring clip. There we go. So, rollers are in place. Now, these aren't adjusted. They're at the minimum position so we'll adjust them out from there once we install the drum and the hub and the rest of the bearings. So, but that's how to uh, reline a wheel end SKM brakes.